Hi, Matthew from Factbird here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you as a process engineer can optimize the processes in your production facility using Factbird's smart data collection. So as a process engineer, you're often looking for the bottlenecks within your production and where the process is being slowed down. And you can see that with Factbird's analytics tab. So jumping right in here, you can see this Pareto graph that's showing where you're actually losing production time and losing the most value adding time. So over this, you can see how much time there's been no planned activity, how much loss during operation there is, which is unplanned downtime. These are unregistered stops, micro stops and cleaning. So the one that we're obviously gonna be most interested in addressing is the loss during operation because these are your unplanned downtime reasons. So as we click in, we get this next Pareto graph which shows each of your downtime reasons. Now this is based on the operators inputting the data over time. So you get this, uh, you, these stop causes over time and you can see that the product jam is definitely the one costing the most time. It's happened 33 times and cost you 3,240 minutes of production. So on and so forth. A belt snap has happened 16 times and cost you 562 minutes. Now this helps take the intuition out of this decision making and make it more data driven as if you were to ask people on the floor which is a bigger problem, the power failure or the belt snap, uh, or a wrong product, for example, has happened 16 times and only cost 404 minutes, whereas there's problems that's happened less frequently but actually cost you more time in production. So it helps you as a process engineer realize what needs to be addressed most uh, urgently. Now, if we decide to look into any of these stops in any more detail, like the belt snap, for example, we can see how many times this has happened, how long the average duration was for it, and when it's happening. And furthermore, you can look at a scatter plot of this data. So you can see when it's happening over time, because sometimes, you know, a problem like this might only happen on Monday mornings or after Friday lunchtime. And you can start to see if there's a trend over time in when this problem is happening. So using all of this downtime data, we can then produce an OEE score for you as a process engineer. And of course, your ambition will be to maximize this. So looking at this waterfall graph, we can see of the 720 hours here that we're looking at that you could have been producing, you lost 205 hours to no planned production, seven hours to maintenance that was planned and meetings, five hours to different sorts of cleaning, and then 202 hours to unplanned downtime. So that accounts for a number of things like speed loss, uh, product jams, belt snobs. These are completely customizable to whatever the most common stop reasons are in your industry. So you as a process engineer can look at this waterfall graph and see where am I losing the most time? Where are we losing the most value? Where can the process be optimized? Uh, using these OEE scores, you can then measure that. Now there's much more you can do as a process engineer. You can look at uh, alarms for stops, uh, for speed related alarms. If your process has gone outside of a certain speed or outside of certain metrics that you wouldn't like it to be beyond, there's unlimited amounts you can do with the system. And if you'd like to hear more about it, you can reach out to our sales team and we can have a conversation about how we can optimize the process in your production facility.